Good day, Philippines. Good evening to all. This is Mike Padua, and we're back to our latest weather analysis for this Tuesday to Thursday, December 12 to 14, 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by uh, Typhoon 2000. This is in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Abuitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Abuñu Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado, representing the 3rd District of Camarinisur. And also, uh, I would like to promote the uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center. If you're willing to uh, have your own uh, Climate Action Center at your respective uh, LGU or uh, companies, just uh, visit our website, typhoon2000.ph, click on the banner, and you will be forwarded to a Google form for you to fill up. And then upon submitting to uh, Comunidad, Representative Aaron Cabasal will uh, contact you and discuss further all about this Climate Action Center. It is a very effective tool in uh, giving out early warning uh, updates to the community. So there you go, the uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center. Let's take a look at the graph set. So this is the graph set we created uh, this morning. And based on the forecast this morning, it looks like it could become a tropical depression here based on the majority of the computer models. But right now, based on the 8 a.m. update of the uh, global run or global model runs, these models are released at around 1 to 4 p.m. And it looks like uh, uh, this LPA will just remain an LPA. And the uh, probability of becoming a tropical cyclone has decreased to maybe uh, 50. Uh, so the, the uncertainty is still there. Even though if uh, this system won't become a tropical cyclone or a tropical depression, we expect uh, rainfall to occur in uh, various sections of Mindanao and also includes uh, Visayas. So uh, take all necessary precautions for possible flooding and landslides when this LPA passes over Mindanao and Visayas come Sunday through uh, Tuesday. Because on Tuesday, it will be over uh, Palawan. So Palawan will also uh, have a share of this rainfall and thunderstorms. So please take all those precautions. And as the system passes here this weekend, we expect the northeast monsoon to again return and bring some windy conditions across Luzon down to northern Visayas, including Bicol, Batanes, Metro Manila. So we will be having some cool and windy conditions with light rain showers uh, here along the eastern uh, seaboards of Luzon, including Bicol. This coming uh, weekend, uh, most likely Sunday and Monday, as the LPA traverses Mindanao. By tomorrow, if there are sudden changes on the forecast models, we will go on air here at our YouTube channel, as well as at our Facebook page. Okay, so uh, right now, the northeast monsoon, which uh, affected eastern Luzon, Bicol region yesterday, has weakened uh, this afternoon. It's uh, becoming again blowing from the east and it will persist through Friday or early Saturday and then late Saturday and Sunday we have another blast of the northeast monsoon coming from China that will be enhanced by this LPA okay and uh, right now it's about 1,000 kilometers east of the Philippine Air Responsibility and it's uh, at uh, 35 kph uh, not yet uh, a tropical depression, just an LPA. And for the fast animation, so there you go. The circulation is somewhat disorganized. And uh, the reason behind of this uh, not developing is the oceanic heat content here is slightly lower. And then the uh, upper level winds is starting to increase to the east of Mindanao. So it will uh, avoid any uh, development. But let's wait and see. Uh, within the next uh, three days, what will happen? Sometimes uh, this LPAs uh, gives some uh, surprises. And here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from winter.com. You can clearly see here the easterly wind flow affecting the uh, eastern sections of northern Quezon, Bicol region, Calabarzon, Metro Manila, and also here over Batanes. Uh, those are low to mid level clouds moving from the east. So it's no longer the uh, northeasterly monsoonal flow, but uh, 
low level winds are still blowing from the northeast so it will be from the north and east and here's now the lpa trying to develop over to the south of uh, yap okay and uh, for the wind forecast from the european model and the american model courtesy of windy.com i'm going to show to you the potential tracks of this uh, lpa so on friday based on the european model the system is approaching the uh, area of uh, palau and on saturday afternoon it will start to enter par but the circulation has become more disorganized here's the blast of the new surge of the monsoon digging down towards the philippines and sunday morning it will reach extreme northern luzon and eastern luzon and here comes out the lpa quite disorganized based on the new run of the european model uh, sunday afternoon through the evening it will be approaching the uh, southern uh, coastal uh, waters of uh, mindanao and the northeast monsoon is now extending down to uh, samar and northern uh, visayas and on uh, monday morning the LPA is approaching the uh, southernmost part of Davao uh, region and Monday afternoon it will dissipate into a trough okay it will become a part of just a, uh, a near equatorial trough and the northeast monsoon will remain the dominant wind system over Luzon including Bicol and eastern Visayas and on Tuesday uh, December 19 the remnants of LPA-91W will be approaching Borneo. And the winds across Luzon and Visayas will again shift back from the east. So that's the new updated forecast from the uh, European model as of 8 a.m. And uh, if we take a look at the American model, based on the latest, it looks like it will still reach minimum tropical depression status especially on Sunday before it makes landfall over uh, Karaga or Northern Karaga and this is a tropical depression 1001 a week one but it will rapidly dissipate as it makes landfall over Northern Karaga in the vicinity of Surigao, Shergao, Dinagat I Islands okay uh, Surigao del Norte so somewhere there and on Monday it will traverse the Visayas as a remnant low and on Tuesday it will uh, uh, be absorbed into the surface trough to the southwest of Palawan. Okay, Palawan, okay. So that's the uh, scenario from the American model. And also on Sunday, Monday, we still uh, also have the Northeast Monsoon based on the American model. So to wrap things up, the uh, European model is tracking the system here while the American model is tracking the system here and it will dissipate over this area so based on the uh, consensus of all these computer models it looks like the track is now pointing towards Mindanao uh, even though it will not uh, uh, even if this uh, low pressure system what reach tropical depression status it will bring uh, lots of rainfall over Mindanao I'm gonna show to you this is the uh, rainfall. I'm gonna show to you. Uh, let's shift to the European model, which is more accurate when it comes to rainfall. So there you go. Sunday morning, it will bring rainfall over uh, Karga and uh, Davao regions through the afternoon, and it will spread across various sections of Mindanao throughout Monday. Okay. So sometimes it's heavy, extreme. So please take all necessary precautions against flooding and flash floods. And uh, up here, we have the effects of the northeast monsoon. So there will be some uh, showers and thunderstorms as well across the eastern sections of Luzon, northern Quezon as well. And this is due to a possibility of a, uh, a shear line forming on uh, Sunday to Monday. And then on Tuesday, it will disperse now, moving towards the southernmost part of uh, Sulu Archipelago, affecting the offshore islands of the Bangsa Moro region, okay? Uh, the Bangsa Autonomous region. And uh, there will be still some rainfall here over Mindanao, but uh, Visayas is also 
be uh, is also uh, going to experience some light rainfall but it is more concentrated over Mindanao so since we have El Nino this is a blessing uh, for the farmers but for the low-lying areas and flood prone areas this is a mess okay so please take all the precautions and uh, uh, moving forward towards uh, the last uh, uh, few days before Christmas I'm gonna show to you now uh, let me move this okay so pardon me uh, okay 19 20 we have another surge of the more northeast monsoon this is a more powerful uh, monsoonal flow and on Thursday December 21 it will affect much of Luzon so this is the American model and this is the uh, European model so both of them agree that there will be another surge of the monsoon beginning December 21 and it will extend until December 23 I think so uh, it depends uh, the forecast is only until December 23 but December 21 22 23 we have a new surge of uh, northeast monsoon which is much stronger compared uh, on this approaching uh, December 17 to 18 monsoonal flow so the European model also says okay so there you go and uh, we expect also a possibility of a shear line on December 22 okay here affecting Bicol region December 22 so there you go that's the uh, possibility of a shear line because of another surge of the northeast monsoon and we have another LPA here but we don't care about that since it's moving towards Thailand it's not already uh, under the territory of the Philippine Islands and uh, we are going to skip now the rain forecast since we already discussed it here let's return it uh, to the wind okay so there you go we expect two surges of the monsoon the first one this uh, December 17 to 19 the second one December 21 to 23 so uh, don't forget to uh, wear your jackets or sweater because it's time for some cooler days ahead let's hope that we will be okay by then since we have cups and colds right now oh my gosh anyway here's the rainfall forecast accumulation through Sunday so this is now the effects of the northeast monsoon some rainfall can be seen here along the eastern seaboards of Cagayan Valley northern Quezon Bicol region because of that uh, monsoonal flow that will be enhanced by this watching LPA so this is the uh, three-day movement of the rainfall of LPA 91W so this is until Saturday so by Saturday it will already cover the whole of Mindanao if we move it to five days there you go it's affecting Mindanao and these are the monsoonal flow actually this is the total rainfall for five days so uh, uh, we must understand the meaning of this uh, total rainfall accumulation. So this is for the next three days. Global Tropics Hassan's Outlook issued last Wednesday, valid for the next two to three weeks. With the third week, with highly uh, uncertain. Okay, week two, valid December 20 to December 26. Above average rainfall will be expected across the Philippine Islands because of that LPA and the uh, enhanced uh, northeast monsoon and possible shear line that could bring some rainfall here but no tropical cyclone formation uh, and then on the week uh, 3 or third week December 27 to January 2 it's all uh, dry across the Philippine Islands that will be more than 50% of below average rainfall because of the El Nino phenomenon which is currently at high levels right now or strong levels not yet very high or very strong it's only at high or strong levels Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for today, Thursday, and we will return, if not tomorrow, on Saturday. So it depends if it develops or there's some vaguing news on that LPA. This is Mike Padua saying, stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.